This may be the best paddle boarding experience we've ever had. Look at how clear that is. We currently live on Oahu, and today we are heading out to Kanohe Bay to try and experience the magic of what I call the Jurassic Park side of this island. Also known as the jungle rainy side of the island, but the one that produces the world-class beaches and best waterfalls. If you missed the last video, Alex and Haley turned into a human claw machine before saying goodbye to John as he went off to play army. Since then, I have done my best fixing up my beloved truck and meeting everyone's needs, including my dogs. But before we go off on that adventure, we're gonna meet my needs. And my needs are seeking an adventure on this beautiful tropical island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we are heading to Kanohe Bay in search of glass ocean glass. See, while the North Shore of Oahu is pounding right now with world-class waves, winter has also given this side of the island a break from the wind, making this a magical adventure. <sighs> Aloha from Hawaii. Welcome back, you beautiful people. It's the wonderful island of Oahu. Once again, I dragged Alex and Haley out of bed because I knew the best conditions were going to be at sunrise. We headed off to paddleboard Kenohe Bay. Ken oh, Google, how do we say Kenohe Bay? Kaneohe. Now, most people come out here for the sandbar, and the sandbar is totally awesome. But there's more to this than just the sandbar. There's some amazing reefs, sea turtles, you can even see some eagle rays at times. And this is also where Gilligan's Island was filmed, that old school TV show, at least I remember it, right on Coconut Island. But during most of the year, the trade winds can rock this part of the island. I'm oh, sorry, dude, I'm trying not to kill us. And, or you can have my aunt and uncle's luck, which is arriving during the coldest and wettest part of the year in Hawaii. That was until this morning. Five mile per hour winds in the heart of January, we arrived at Kia Kea Harbor. Totally butchering that, so sorry. Maybe a little cold right at sunrise. Are you ready for an adventure? Yeah. I love you, dude. Yeah. We are going paddle boarding. The sun is rising over my shoulder. The water is perfectly still. I'm very excited about this. The girls are whining a little bit. This is so beautiful. This is everything I hoped that this day would be. I'm not gonna lie. There's been so many windy and wavy days to be in the middle of January right now, actually early January. And it is so beautiful. You got Chinaman's hats, you got the Jurassic Park mountains, and we're in Kanohe Bay. The Marine Corps base is right there. The sun is rising and the, the water is glass. Huh, Haley, hold that for me, kid. All right. 
Can you see that sea worm right there? Or that sea snake? Loving coming up on, um, I don't know if you guys can see me too much. We're loving coming up on all the reefs like this. And you can see a lot of fish as you come up to the reef. We have to like stop and be like calm to be able to, to see anything. We haven't seen any turtles. I know there's a lot of turtles out here. I've seen them before um, when I was getting my boat license. But so far, no turtles. I could have easily paddled out to the sandbar from here. People definitely were. But Alex was feeling a little scared of sharks at the moment. I think she saw that video of the kayaker. And since it was still the first week after John had shipped out, I was trying to be a little more sympathetic and patient with how our girls were feeling in our adventure today. So bear with me, we kept this very simple and just enjoying the nature around us. So from what I was told, if you go closer to Coconut Island, there are a lot of turtles. That was amazing. I really feel so satisfied from that. I'm not gonna lie though, the girls are totally like, a little rebellious right now. And I don't know if that's just the lack of sleep or the fact that this was just not as adrenaline thrilled adventure that they thought it was going to be, but it was everything I wanted it to be. So supposedly uh, there is a little market right down here at the end of the pier. I don't know if it's open yet. I think it's more open for lunchtime, but my boss informed me that it is amazing. Some amazing fresh, fish, sandwiches, and everything. Really great seafood. I'm not a seafood person. So I'm gonna wait and save that for John because it would just feel wrong to go there right now without him. Next few days, I spent working on my truck. I fixed the leak in my exhaust only to realize that my belts needed to be changed too. YouTube certified myself, got the old belts off, and yeah, I let go of my pride and asked my neighbors to come rescue me. They helped me get the belts on. Woo! 
I put Bullseye back together and we are back in business. And now it was time to give my dogs some love and attention that they really needed. So we're off to Turtle Bay to go run my dogs. Yes. boys turn 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 go boys go boys this is a delicate act of not running into them having them pull me and uh and not getting the rope caught in my wheel Go, 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 yeah, boys. Woo! Mexico, Mexico, go, 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 go. Go, boys. Nope, nope. Go, boys. How we doing? Do you need a breather? So Max and Duke have gone on lots of mountain biking ventures in their life. But I have to say, they were in better shape for mo almost all of those. Living in Hawaii is not kind to adventure dogs. Maybe you have like a really great hiking dog, but Hawaii is a leashed state, meaning that if you're not on your private property, your dog is supposed to be on leash, no matter where. So. There's a couple times where I'll take them into the heart of the jungle, like no trail, no nothing, and let them off leash. But if you're on a trail like this or on a hiking trail, technically you're supposed to be on leash. And for my dogs, that means they never really get to run. There's so many times where that rope is like so close to getting caught. Oh. Cool. Coming out here and enjoying some beautiful sunshine, taking a break from the cloudiness and rain that's always like over school field barracks this time of year. Oh yeah, roll around the sand buds. Good boys. Good boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 